thank Hi. uh i want to thank uh, one of our contributors Lori anderson uh for bringing to my attention a picture of the freaking rainbowed white house thank you very much for sending me that oh, link thank you so much for doing that Lori. You're more than welcome, I mean, and I, I love the topics you're covering tonight, because I have lots to say. <laughs> you do? Okay, what do you guys, what, yeah. I, I'm going to, hold on a second, let me go get a rainbow cupcake real quick, go ahead. <laughs> yeah. Okay, awesome. All right. Go ahead. Okay, well, um, to start, let's start with the Rainbow White House, okay? Um, people are, are speaking out, and they're talking about, oh, you can't offend this person, this is the reason they're using excuses to pass all these laws. And although I know many people support the LGBT and, and that movement, what about the people that that offended? Can you imagine what happened if they put the, um, the rebel flag, or excuse me, the battle flag, on the White House? Oh, jeez, could you imagine that? Because... Because let's be honest, that that's exactly the same scenario, just a different flag mm -hmm. or different colors. You know and what? And it to instigate and and create division and anger. Yeah, division and anger between, especially because the Christians are so outraged. You heard Doctor Catherine Albrecht was very very upset by that. Uh, the Christians are extremely upset. You're at, at, you're absolutely right. That is a that that is a divisive wedge there. And, and by the way, this happened within a 24-hour period. Take down the Confederate flag, run up the uh, the rainbow flag within such a short period of time. Well, right. And it, it's used to divide. And, you know, the, this propaganda of gay marriage. Now, let me tell you what I mean by this, okay? Because I've got friends who are gay, so I am not a gay basher. Let me be clear about that. Mm -hmm. um, however... The institution of marriage was created biblically. It is a religious ceremony. They've been allowed to be in union and different things, but they wanted it to be called marriage. Now, a lot of these individuals claim they don't believe in God, so why do they want a religious ceremony? Yeah, but a religious ceremony in marriage has become an administrative procedure and a licensure, mm -hmm. you know, through through right. the, through government. Mm -hmm. It's been distorted. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. They, you're right, and they have no right. The federal government nor the states have any right in any of it. It's unconstitutional. It it's is all a tax revenue. It's all a collection of data. It is. It's all a way to get more money. But the reality is, it's going to be used to try to force churches that don't <coughs> believe in that to to hold those marriages. She's right. Which is a religious ceremony. Mm -hmm. Yes, no, I absolutely agree with that. Now, yeah. on the same token, you know, like the dumb mess with the, the cake, for instance, um, there have been cases where gays have refused to bake cake for Christians they don't get in trouble, but the Christians get in trouble for not baking cakes for gays. Cakes, to me, is, is not the issue at all. That's the simplicity of it. But it's the... You know, uh, hold, hold on one second. Let's, back, let, let's, let's identify this for those of you that had, haven't uh, understood. Even the gays, okay, need to understand this. The gays should be just as outraged for the Supreme Court yeah. to tell them that they have a right to love somebody and to spend their life with somebody. And to uh, and and to do sexual deviant uh, things to each other, uh, but the Supreme Court ruling actually made same-sex marriage a right, and they deemed it so. The government did. How inappropriate is that? They should have been saying, "We don't freaking need you. We're going to do it anyway." Right? Exactly. Yeah. And it's not their business to be in anybody's bedroom. I right. don't go out, and I don't expect anybody to go out and tell me who they're sleeping with. Why announce who you're sleeping with? That that just makes no sense. It's none of anybody's business uh, who your right. life partner should be. And, and as far as legal um, allowances that come along with that, well, guess what? You, you could have another human being assume legal guardianship over you. You can have a revocable living right. trust. You can have um, uh, a... Um, 
um, uh, what do you call it, a power, a durable power of attorney uh -huh. for somebody else to take care of you if you're incapacitated. And that can be done without the government. That's actually a, a document that you put together between you, you and your partner, period. Absolutely. Absolutely. Right? It's yeah. another way for the government to stick their hands in business that they don't belong in it. And people are being fooled by going that problem reaction solution and they go cry to the same government that is the one that is oppressing them. Yeah, and another thing is I believe that the Supreme Court ruling and their decision to say that no longer may this liberty be denied, says Justice Kennedy. You know what that tells me? That tells me that it's not necessarily beneficial to the LGBTs or the gay people. It's telling me that I can't even speak out against them. You know, that they have rights that I can't speak out, you know, against, you know, and, and, and also speak of the religious side of marriage, right? And, the, and then the moral right. side of marriage. Now I'm going to be stifled as a result of a Supreme Court ruling uh, to be able to speak out about it. I'm not only going to be called homophobic, I'm going to be called in, called in violation of a Supreme Court ruling, you know, by speaking out against the gay community for, you know, for doing bad things to each other with a fork. Right. Uh, sorry. Right. Well, you know, the reality is they, they pretend to have more power than they are. They are only nine human beings, and they're not above God. It's that simple. No, that's right. Okay, um, what's your next topic? Because uh, we have some important news stories along these lines, but what's your next topic? Awesome. awesome. The next topic I want to um, talk about really quick is the Confederate flag. And the reason I want to do this is there are so many people who, you know, I don't think they're seeing the larger picture. The Confederate flag had nothing to do with racism. The Confederate well, uh, flag. Well, hold on a second, uh, Lori. I'm going to I'm going to disagree with you. Okay. Uh, that That's the race right. that the racism associated with the Confederate flag is no different than the no different than the racism that exists in corporate America. You know that the racism okay. exists. Well, I'm but, here to give you some history and some facts. Yeah, but but yeah, racism exists. Funny. So is the Confederate oh, flag? I'm not talking about racism. Yeah. I'm talking about the flag. The flag okay. is an item, first of all. It doesn't have racism. It's what people perceive it. So they need to know the history. The 13 stars on that flag represent the 13 original states that came together in union to create the Articles of the Confederation, which is what established the United States of America. Mm -hmm. Now... Yeah. On top of that, many people do not realize, the Confederacy represents the people's individual rights and the state's individual sovereignty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Right. And they're stripping now, that. It didn't become a right. So when they're taking this down, everyone's thinking Abraham Lincoln fought for, for civil rights. No, he didn't. It didn't become a civil, it didn't become a slavery issue until two years after the Civil War began, he was losing the war, and in 63, 1863, that's when he went after the Emancipation Proclamation. He wrote that, and he only wanted to free the slaves of the rebellious state, not all the slaves. And when he did that, there was a condition. That condition was the slaves that were released had to fight for one year if they made it through that war, then they gained their freedom. Yeah. That was a strategic yeah, move, but, and you it know, had nothing to do with him, really. Yes, and I, I, I really appreciate. I, listen, Lori, I appreciate the uh, I appreciate the education on this, but I'm going to tell you something. Shame on those that are, haven't educated themselves, including me, about right. the heritage of the Confederate flag. Shame on us. But guess what? Here's the reality: in popular culture, that flag has been attached to. Uh, groups like the Ku Klux Klan, who hijacked the freaking symbol and attached it to the thought of racism. And shame on the population for uh, for allowing the government to come in and tell corporations to stop manufacturing the flag uh -huh. and to take it off the shelves. Um, sh shame on us for even allowing that to take place, regardless of what our thoughts are about that flag. Shame on us for, right. for allowing well, them to strip us. The... Go ahead. I was going to say, here's the bigger picture of this. Most of the time, by the way, the KKK flew the American flag, not the rebel flag. Just saying, that's a fact. Mm -hmm. um, so why aren't they calling for the American flag to be pulled down? Mm -hmm. So that's the moot point. Um, now, the real issue is this. The real issue is, I want you to think in a 
broader picture and step back from it. Because we know it stands for the people's sovereignty and the states. Because the way that the Confederacy was set up, it was the people were over the states, and the states were over that little teeny tiny centralized government. Okay? Now, interconnect, TPP is being passed doing away with our sovereignty, doing away with our borders, and all of this. Why wouldn't they want to erase the history of the people's rights for them to look into what their real rights really are? That's pretty interesting. The Confederation, right. Hmm. So all of a sudden the TPP goes through and all this is going on at the same exact time. They're trying to pull down all the memorials of sovereignty and states' rights. They're trying to pull down all the flags. They're trying to demonize all this out of all this specific time when people, if they would actually research what it was about, yeah. and if they would actually read the Articles of Confederation, they would want that Confederation back. Now, that's the honest truth, because I've read it. I've got the uh, certified copy. But a Confederation, just real quick, the definition is a group of nations or states or a government encompassing several states or political divisions in which the component states retain considerable independence. Mm, wow, yeah. The members of a confederation often delegate only a few powers to the central authority. Yeah. That is why they want to get rid of that. And you know what? You can't neglect the movement that was made to remove the Confederate flag and to promote uh, uh, the, uh, the gay agenda, the gay flag. You can't because they're replacing... Uh, the Confederate, the thought of Confederacy uh, with uh, promiscuity and and sexual deviancy almost. I mean, really, we have to we, we say sexual deviancy, right. but it but it has everything to do with sexual preference. Uh, but to do that right. within a 48 hour period, literally within a 40 hour period, they remove the Confederate flag and put up the, the freaking gay flag. And we can't uh, neglect or, or try not to attach the two. And what the meaning is by the right. government doing that, the government's doing this. Just the government yeah, and doing I wonder the... how many, I wonder how many, I'm not saying it's a fact, because I don't have any proof, I'm just saying, you know, out of curiosity, just because of the history of what's going on with Ferguson and different things, I wonder how many are being paid. Yeah, no kidding. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, it's not uh, a, a popular movement uh, to have the Confederate flag removed uh, until it's, of course, tweeted out by the freaking White House. I think that the government was promoting removing that. Lori, thanks a lot for calling in. I appreciate it. Very, very thoughtful. Uh, yeah, very interesting fact.